Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new Is It Worth It? In this episode we will be looking at another Nandroid. This Nandroid will be Nandroid 1126 Nandroid Yu-Gi-Oh! from the anime Sword Art Online Alicization. Yu-Gi-Oh! is one of the main characters of the series helping Kirito in his quest. This figure can be bought for 5000 Japanese yen. That is equivalent to 42.70 euro. But without further ado, let's crack into the box. Jeff, 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 Jeff. And here we have Yu-Gi-Oh out of the box. And once again with Good Smile Company, and like I said in the previous video, an absolutely amazing job. It looks exactly like the character it is referencing, which makes me really happy. Of course, because its design is quite simple, that means that I could put a lot of detail on other parts and accessories. What I really like about the character is that it got all the articulation that you expect of an android, but also an extra feature, which is the waist. Something that I really missed about the previous android, and I'm so happy this android has that extra movement part. But anyway, let's see all the extra parts that Yu-Gi-Oh comes with. He comes with an extra arm with a pointing finger, Another bent arm, but this time with a fist. He can't hold anything in this fist, and it is just a fist. But this time, this character comes with two holding hands. Holding hands basically means that your character can hold an item in their hands. He comes with a left and a right hand, which you don't see very often with Nandroids. Which makes me really happy. As for the legs, he comes with one extra leg. A bent leg. This one is most likely used for combat poses. But you could use it for some other stuff too. And of course, it wouldn't be Sword Art Online if he doesn't come with two swords. The Blue Rose Sword is the sword that he mainly uses in the series and you come with a nice clean sword and also with the sword in the sheet. You can even remove the top part of the sword so you just have the housing of the weapon to put on your character. Of course the character also comes with a whole bunch of stands and one extra neck piece. But like I said in my previous Nandroid videos the best part about Nandroids, in my opinion, is the ability to change the face. The face Yu-Gi-Oh! comes with naturally is a default blank look. This is basically your default go-to face when you don't really have a pose planned for Yu-Gi-Oh! But he also comes with two more faces. An angry face for your combat poses. And a really sad crying face like you have seen him do on the show. I am however a little bit disappointed that the face with the error message in his eye didn't make the cut. Because that would have been an awesome faceplate to have. But you can't have it all I guess. And last but not least for the accessories he comes with this awesome ice particle. This particle is a reference to his move in the anime, Enhance Ornament. I'm quite happy that they included something like this for the figure, because it is very rare that you actually get an attack particle with an android. 
so I am pretty happy about that. Of course, just having a default pose character isn't that interesting. And, as it is for an Android, you can pose them in a lot of different poses. Some poses include... I really enjoy posing Nandroids in the way I want them to. This way your figure is still a little bit more unique than the figure of somebody else because you given your unique pose to that character. Like the standard with Nandroids, at the back is the stand. Because Yujio is such a simple design, the stand doesn't get in the way of anything, making him very very poseable, which is always amazing to see. All in all, I gotta say that I'm pretty happy with this figure. I didn't expect to like Yujo as much as I did in the series, but I really grown fond of him, and it's really awesome to have him in my collection. My Sword Art Online collection is growing bit by bit, and it's amazing to see new figures come out. So. It comes to no surprise that I will once again say that this figure is absolutely worth it. But anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video and want to see more, please hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.